Hey guys, this is Shutter Island. Come on. I love this man. I'm Deputy Warden McPherson, gentlemen. Welcome to Shutter Island. I'll be the one taking you up to Ashcliff. Oh, does it have like a prison or something? Like Alcatraz? Whoa, relax. The boys seem a little on edge, Mr. McPherson. You are hereby required to surrender your firearms. What? Mr. McPherson. We're marshals. We are duly appointed federal marshals. Gentlemen, you will not get through this gate with your firearms. Damn. Damn, her throat is slit. What the fuck? Those paintings are quite accurate. They were beaten. As if whipping them bloody would drive the psychosis out. We drove screws into their brains. We submerged them in icy water until they lost consciousness or even drowned. And now? We treat them, try to heal, try to cure. Mm-hmm. These are all violent defenders, right? I mean, they've hurt people, murdered them in some cases. In almost all cases, yes. And personally, Doctor, I'd have to say screw their sense of calm. Rachel Solando escaped sometime in the last 24 hours. Huh? Last night. She considered dangerous? You could say that. She killed all three of her children. Shit. She drowned them in the lake behind her house. Then she brought them back inside and arranged them around the kitchen table. She ate a meal there before a neighbor drove by. Shit. And what about the husband? He died on the beaches at Normandy. She's a war widow. She starved herself when she first came here. She insisted the children weren't dead. <laughs> Sorry, doctor. You don't happen to have an aspirin, do you? Perhaps the headaches, Marshal. It was locked from the outside. And the only window's barred. It's as if she evaporated straight through the walls. Okay. This is definitely Rachel's handwriting. What about those caves down there? Have you checked them? No way she could get there. You're in a state of lockdown. A dangerous patient has escaped, and you let her primary doctor leave on vacation? You don't indulge in alcohol? Isn't it common for men in your profession to imbibe? Your profession, doctor, psychiatry. Yes. I always heard it was overrun with boozers and drunks. <laughs> What's that? Iced tea in your glass there? <laughs> Excellent, Marshal. You have outstanding defense mechanisms. I was just gonna say that. Damn. It went out his cheek. Is he gonna let him bleed or is he gonna give it to him? Ooh. You Nazi bastard. But ich, ich war dabei. Bei der Befreiung von Dachau. Your English, your English is sehr gut, fast, perfect. His English really is very good. You hit the consonants a tad hard, though. Yeah, German? Is legal immigration a crime, Marshal? Oh, I don't know, Doctor. You tell us. Now yeah. listen. We're gonna need those files on Sheehan. And the rest of the staff as well. Continue your investigation and we'll do all we can to help. This investigation is over. We're gonna file our reports and we're gonna hand it over to our... Hoover's boys. Hoover's boys, that's right. We'll be taking the ferry back in the morning. You have to wake up. You're here. I'm not. You have to face that. But she is. Oh. 
the fuck is that? The old school believes in surgical intervention, psychosurgery, procedures like the transorbital lobotomy. New school? Psychopharmacology. A new drug has just been approved called Thorazine, which relaxes psychotic patients. You could say tames them. And, and which school are you, Doc? Me. I have this radical idea that if you treat a patient with respect, listen to him. Try and understand. You just I don't buy it, bro. Rachel Solando was on a combination of drugs meant to keep her from becoming violent, but it was only intermittently effective. The greatest obstacle to her recovery was her refusal to face what she had done. Is, is there a reason you keep referring to your patient in the past tense, Doctor? Peter Breen assaulted his father's nurse with broken glass. Nurse survived, but her face was permanently disfigured. And then she asked me if she can have a glass of water? Alone in the kitchen? Like that's no big deal? It was obvious. She wanted me to pull out my thing so that she could laugh at it. Damn. The insecurity is real. She drowned her kids. This is, this is a sick fucking world we live in, I'll tell you that. You know what, they should be gassed. All of them, the, the, the retards, the killers, the niggers. You kill your own kid, gas the bitch. Fuck off. You slashed the woman in the face, you piece of shit. Stop that. Stop that! Please, stop! You know a patient named Andrew Latis? Do you? No! No! Well, I have my dark days, I suppose everybody does. <clears throat> the difference is uh, most people don't kill their husbands with an axe. Huh. Although, personally, I think if, if a man beats you and fucks half the women he sees and no one will help you, axing him isn't the least understandable thing you could do. He beat her. Maybe you shouldn't so is self-defense. <laughs> Did he ever make a pass at you? No. No, Dr. Sheehan's a good doctor. He would have. Um, could, I, could I have a glass of water, please? No problem. Did you ever meet a patient named Andrew Latis? No. <laughs> Never heard of him. Damn. Never play poker. She used practically the same words as Carly and the nurse, like she'd been told exactly what to Who's say. Who's Andrew Latis? He asked every one of those patients back there about him. Who is he? When this case came over the wires, I requested it specifically, you understand? Andrew Latis lit the match. And it caused the fire that killed my wife. About a year ago, I opened up the paper, and there he is. Ugly-looking son of a bitch. Huge scar from his right temple down to his left lip. Eyes different colors. Not the type of face you'd forget. He burned down a schoolhouse, killed two people. Yeah. Said voices told him to do it. First he went to prison, then he got transferred here. Then what? Then nothing. He vanished like he never existed. No record whatsoever. A lot of places to hide a body here. Yep. Only one place no one would really notice. The cemetery. Damn, people were not thorough back then. Bridget Kern, when she sent me for water, she said something to you back then. She wrote it. One. Okay, that's the first red flag. So if Latis is here. What are you going to do about it? Hmm. I'm not here to kill Latis. You know this place is funded by a special grant from the House on American Activities Committee. You act? And how exactly fighting the commies from an island in Boston Harbor? By conducting experiments on the mind. Oh my god. Sure, it makes sense. I found somebody who used to be a patient here. The guy's name is George Noyce. Noyce? Two weeks on the mainland, he walks into a bar, stabs three men to death. 
His lawyer pleads insanity, but noise, noise. He stands up in the courtroom and he, he begs the judge for the electric chair anywhere but a mental hospital. We, we saw what human beings are capable of doing to each other, right? For Christ's sakes, we, we fought a goddamn war to stop them. And now, now I find out it may be happening here on our soil. I'm gonna get the proof. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. I dropped those suits off to be cleaned. They should be ready by tomorrow. That is, if we all don't wash away first. You know, speaking of which, I'm afraid your uh, smoke's pretty much done for. So. Who are these men? Why are they in my house? Police officers, Rachel. They have a few questions. Don't you know how wrong? You're gone. You're dead. How am I supposed to survive? There are no tears. Is she faking? There are no tears. So goddamn bright, isn't it? Photosensitivity, headache sometimes, Marshall. Are you having a migraine? I don't, I don't want to stop pills. the pain. Marshall, take the pills. Shit. <laughs> Is this how it starts? How they take people? Who is that? Him? That's the ward. It looks like an ex military prick, huh? Him. That's that guy from uh, Look Who's Talking too. Give me a hand here. Damn. Whoa. But she drowned them. She didn't kill them. Like that. I'm so sorry. Why did I mislead me? I tried. I, I wanted to, but by the time I got there, So he's speaking to them as Jim, like this lady's husband. What the hell? When is this guy awake? Is he always dreaming? Why are you all wet, baby? Latus isn't dead. You need to find him and you kill him dead. Well, we need to go find him because he needs to be here. I think the whole electrical system is fried. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a good possibility. Yeah. All the electronic security defenses, oh, the gates, everything. the doors. Come on. Nice day for a stroll, don't you think? Towards sea, for example. Come on. Maybe we'll run into Andrew Latus. George Noyce, he told me this is where they keep the worst ones. Guys even the other inmates are scared of. Oh my god. Tag, you're in! Oh my god. I don't want to leave here, alright? I mean, why would anybody want to? We hear things here about the outside world, about atolls, about H bomb tests. He jumped us. You, give me a hand with him. I gotta get him to the infirmary. So some of the patients know he's trying to take down this place and some of them don't want to leave so they don't want him to take down this place. Really? Been alone 
much is good. And my partner. I never worked with him before, have you? Mm. <laughs> They're going to take me to the lighthouse. They're going to cut into my brain. And I'm only here because of you! What happened to you? What do you mean? Where were you? After we got that guy to the infirmary, I took a little detour. The patient records. Did you ever find ladies? No. No, I never found them. I got the next best thing, his intake form. The only thing in his files. There's no session notes, no incident reports, no photographs, just this. It was weird. I'm going to that lighthouse. And find out what the fuck is happening on this island. There's no way we could cross those rocks. There could be a way behind those trees. Maybe, maybe a path that goes around the rocks and leads over to the lighthouse. Well, come on. Wait, wait, what are we doing? We got the intake form. It's proof there's a 67th patient, which they said repeatedly doesn't exist. I'm getting to that lighthouse. You understand? Chuck! Chuck! What? Shit, no way he fell. Oh, shit. He's not dead? How the hell is he not dead? are coming out it means shit yeah it means uh, the water is coming in fuck whoa what the fuck how'd she get out again who are you Oh, that's not her. It's another lady. Yeah, Rachel Solando. The real one. Oh. Did you kill your children? I never had children. I was never married. And before I was a patient at Ashcliff, I worked here. I was that doctor, Marshall. Once you're declared insane, then anything you do is called part of that insanity. Reasonable protests or denial, valid fears, paranoia. Survival instincts are defense mechanisms. No. I started asking about these large shipments of sodium amytol and opium-based hallucinogens. Psychotropic drugs. I asked about the surgeries, too. Surgeries? You ever heard of a transorbital lobotomy? Fucking lobotomies. lobotomies. They zap the patient with electroshock. Then go through the eye. Oh. With an ice pick. Damn. Pull out some nerve fibers. Ugh. <laughs> Makes the patients much more obedient. Shit, Try fuck it. that. People will look back and say, here, this place is where it all began. The Nazis use the Jews, Soviets use prisoners in their own gulags. And we, we tested patients on Shutter Island. Any past traumas in your life? Because they're going to point to some event in your past and say it's the reason you lost your sanity. Damn. So that when they commit you here, your friends and colleagues will say, of course he cracked. Damn. Point is, they're going to say it about you. Yeah, so you can't leave. Shit. You haven't taken any pills, have you? Mm. I mean, even aspirin. Yeah, the aspirin. Jesus. And you, you ate the food in the cafeteria and drank the coffee they gave you. Well, of course you, you did. You that you've been smoking your own cigarettes. Well, what? He couldn't have known. Tell me what goes on in that lighthouse. Tell me. Brain surgery. Damn. The 
Well, let's open the skull and see what happens if we pull on this kind. They learned it from the Nazis kind. Damn. You seen him, Doctor? Whom? My partner, Chuck. You don't have a partner, Marshal. You came here alone. Oh, my God. They're fucking around with him on purpose. Of course. Of course. No, one, no one's gonna admit that he came with someone. Marshal. That fucker. If you'll wait a moment, I'll find you someone who can take you to the dock. Oh. What's this, Doctor? Huh? What's this? It, it's, it's just a sedative. Yes. <clears throat> Fucker. Damn. The Nazis had some crazy ass scientists that did the freakiest shit on babies and children and adults, everyone. Like, some fucked up shit. I'm sorry, honey. I love this thing because you gave it to me. Truth is, there's one fucking ugly tie. <laughs> Don't move! Stay where you are! Wait, are you gonna kill me? Why are you all wet, baby? What did you say? You know exactly what I said. Shit. The rifle's empty, by the way. For God's sake, dry off, you'll catch cold. All right. No, keep... Keep the gun with you. You can, like, use it as a bat. Dr. Sheehan came in on the ferry this morning. Not exactly. Dr. Solando. She told me about the neuroleptics. Did she know? And when was this? I found the doctor in a cave. Why tell him that? Your delusions are more severe than I thought. This is Not so annoying. Reluctance. I hate these fucking doctor types. Of fact. What the fuck is this? Withdrawal. Withdrawal? From, 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 from what? I haven't had a goddamn drink since I've been on this island. Chlorpromazine. The same thing we've been giving you for the past 24 months. Excuse me? You've been here for two years. A patient of this institution. Former U.S. Marshal, known proclivity for violence, shows no remorse for his crime because he denies the crime ever, ever took place. In highly developed and fantastical narratives which preclude facing the truth of his act. I've had enough of this bullshit. Where's, where's my partner, huh? Where's Chuck? Focus, Andrew. What do you see? The names have the same letters. Edward Daniels has exactly the same 13 letters as Andrew Ladis. The same as Rachel Solando and Dolores Chanel. The names are anagrams for each other. Your name is Andrew Ladis. The 67th patient at Ashcliffe is you, Andrew. Bullshit. You were committed here by court order 24 months ago. Your crime is terrible. One you can't forgive yourself for, so you invented another self. I wish I could let you just live in your fantasy world. I really do. But you're violent, trained, dangerous. You're the most dangerous patient we have. Two weeks ago, you attacked George Noyce. No, no, I am fucking on to you, doctor. You had Noyce beaten. You asked him what happened to his face. He said, and I hear, I'm quoting again, you did this. And unless we can bring you back to sanity now, right now, permanent measures will be taken to ensure you can't hurt anyone ever again. They'll lobotomize you. You, you working for him? I'm sorry, there wasn't any other way. Someone had to stick with you, keep you safe. What about when he was coming from the wherever from Boston to the to the island on the ferry? I've been your primary psychiatrist for the last two years. I'm Lester Sheehan. I swore before the board of overseers that I could construct the most 
radical, cutting-edge role play ever attempted in psychiatry, and it would bring you back. I thought that if we let you play this out, what? How, how impossible it is. We've had the run of the place for two days. What? So it's true? This whole two-day thing was the experiment? Come on, come on! Andrew, Andrew! No, no. My name is Edward Daniels! This one's loaded. I can tell by the way. You're not gonna fuck with my mind on this one, Doctor! Then blast away, because that's the only way you're ever getting off this island. <laughs> Andrew, please don't. Shit, it's... Oh my god, he is a patient. Simon. Henry. We never had any children. Your wife drowned them. Shit. The cabin by the lake. Those are his kids. Here, the little girl, the one you dream of. Your daughter. Her name is Rachel. Are you going to deny that she ever lived? Shit. Andrew, are you? Baby. Why are you all wet? Where are the kids? Damn. Oh my god. <laughs> Shit. She had a psychotic break? And then he had a psychotic break? Change the clothes. They'll be our living dolls. Huh? Shit. Tomorrow we could take them on a picnic. Yeah, she's gone. I love you so much. I love you so much. I love you like <laughs> Rachel, who? My daughter. Why are you here? Because I killed my wife. And why did you do that? Because she murdered our children. Here's my fear, Andrew. We, we broke through once before, nine months ago, and then you regressed. I need to know you've accepted reality. I haven't accepted reality. What's our next move? You tell me. Gotta get off this rock, Chuck. Get back to the mainland. Whatever the hell's going on here, it's bad. Damn. Damn, I don't know. Oh, no, that's the lobotomy fucking eye pick, ice pick thing that goes in the fucking eyes. To live is a monster. Or to die is a good man. Well, he'd rather die. So they're taking him to that lighthouse to do an experiment. There's that fucking Martin Scorsese. I didn't know it was by him. Anyway. Uh, it's a nice twist at the end. Good movie. I wouldn't watch it again. But I would recommend it. It's fucking Leonardo DiCaprio.